we are VLB. I'm Marsha. I'm Siti. And I'm Widi. And we are hanging out with Roll Live. You guys had an amazing performance. I was watching it earlier. Thank you. And uh, wow. You guys, you guys rock that stage. Congratulations <laughs> with that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, you so much. <laughs> wow. We're a little bit nervous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first U.S. show. Like, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so talk to me about prepping for this, for, for Head in the Clouds. And, you know, being that it's your first show of the tour, um, how did you prepare it so then that way you can have this performance as well as the rest of the tour performances that you're going to be having? Yeah. Uh, we prepared uh, this sh uh, for this show since January, mm. yeah, yeah, January or February, because uh, this is also our first uh, American tour, American tour yeah. uh, and also for our first album. And yeah, it was amazing, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of things happen, but we are good. Yeah. Now, with your music, with your style of music, um, I feel like it's been, there's been a lot of challenges that you have faced in order to be where you're at today. You know, both, especially back home with like beliefs and stuff like that. Like, yeah. so what is like, how were you guys able to overcome these challenges in order to be where you're at today? Um, uh, we're glad we have each other. Yeah, so we can support each, each other. other. <laughs> And yeah, um, we have one teacher. His name is Abba Erza. Abba Erza. Yeah, she's so really supportive. Our support system. Our support system. <laughs> yeah, and we also have uh, our fans. Yeah. They are really amazing. Now, congratulations with the debut album. Retas Thank is amazing. <laughs> From start to finish, it's heavy. It's a heavy record, uh, both you know sonically and lyrically. Can you guys take me into the studio and that creative process? Did you know you were writing this album? Is this an album that just happened naturally when you guys were in the studio? What was that process like? Uh, the process uh, takes so long. We recorded um, most of the song uh, back to 2000, 2018. Wow. Yeah, and uh, most of the song we wrote it uh, when we are in junior high school, like 2017 wow, or 16. Yes. Yeah, uh, and we started during, uh, some of the song uh, have been released uh, three years ago, mm -hmm. but uh, the last five song uh, we recorded uh, last year. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. until March this year. That's that's a, that's quite some time that you guys have been working on it. Yeah. How is it that it, it took so long? Like this, the songs are pretty much scattered, different years, different times, different mm -hmm. eras. But yet, when you listen to the album, it's one cohesive body of work. Yeah. So, what was it about those songs from a couple years ago compared to the songs of today that you felt still fit perfectly together? It's really hard because uh, we always feel. Uh, we are not good enough. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the arrangements uh, always change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we discuss a lot about the song, and we fight a lot. Always <laughs> <laughs> explore yeah. our music. Explore. Yeah. Like, so keep exploring. But we love the result. Yeah. Yeah. Love the process. <laughs> love the process too. <laughs> Uh, you guys, the three of you individually play your instruments really well on stage. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your instrumentation and just when you were working on this album, how did you step out of your comfort zone to create your part? So for drumming, what did you do differently in order to step out of comfort zone and be able to create the parts that you did? Um, uh, try something difficult pattern. Yeah. Yes. And always practice every day. Mm -hmm. uh, sampai stress. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Stress. Until you feel stress. <laughs> yes. A lot of stress. <laughs> Until you cry in your room. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, ex 
exploring, keep exploring, and buy new instrument. <laughs> it gives you big more energy, energy. <laughs> yeah. more energy, makes you more semangat. Uh, yeah, uh, give you more spirit, okay. more energy, <laughs> but more confidence. More confidence. <laughs> but it uh, also can. Uh, make your pocket empty. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is why this album needs to sell a lot yeah. of copies. <laughs> I was watching you when you were playing your bass. You did a few licks that were incredible, but I can I can see that you were super excited about it too because you had the biggest smile Hello. after you did the licks. Um, what is your process with your with your bass lines, um, especially for this album? How did you go about it? And how did you like do something different? Do you have any inspiration with with your bass? Yeah, I just uh, uh, yeah. Banyak, practice more, a lot, more practice. practice a lot, and uh, I always jamming with the drum for yeah. for uh, find the best line. Okay. The best yeah. Line. So uh, the most important thing is chemistry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> chemistry. Now for you, your vocals, you come out on stage. And then you start to sing, and I don't know. I, like I looked around, who is singing? <laughs> <laughs> so your vocals are intense. How did you learn about your voice? How did you discover your voice? Um, actually, I love to sing, but uh, at the first time I learned uh, my musical instrument because there is no one can uh, play guitar for me. Mm. So <laughs> I learned to play guitar uh, because I love to sing. Yeah. And um, after uh, made with City and WD, uh, they can uh, help me to found my character, mm. vocal character, Fashion. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> vocal character with the drum and bass. Yeah. Yeah. Now with this album, what is the favorite? No, let's better yet. What was the hardest song to record on this album? Kawani. Oh, yeah. oh, the Kawani. instrument, yeah, the, the instrument. instrument sound. So we, we have, have one track mm -hmm. that's uh, without vocal, like just, just instrumental. Instrument. Yeah, and uh, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard, <laughs> it's really hard to play for yes. Wait, explore our skill. Yeah. Yes. yes, just to show that we are good at our yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but the, that song has a lot of tempo. Like it's change over, split, change split over, tempo. split tempo. Yeah. That's awesome. Now I know before you guys were doing covers, um, let's talk a little bit about Slipknot. What is your favorite Slipknot cover and why? Um, Psychosocial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Really. Before I forget. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, that's really heavy. Yeah. yeah. Make adrenaline rush. Like yeah. Adrenaline rush. And it's uh, also our inspiration on making a song. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so do you go into the studio or do you go and listen to Slipknot and then go into the studio? Uh, we listen to Slipknot uh, often in three years ago or four yeah. years ago. When we were uh, junior high school. Junior high yeah. school, yeah. It's like six years ago. Yeah. But uh, it's like uh, leave a mark in our head. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And we love their song, so we talk to the producer. Uh, we want to our song like this. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Uh, best of luck with this first ever, first ever North yeah. American tour. Thank um, you. Have fun. Thank you so much. Congratulations with the album. You guys be sure to check out Voice of Bachiprat. They're on tour now. And uh, thanks for hanging out with yeah. me.